Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. Tonight, we got a little Kirkland Single Barrel. Highest high kick I've ever done. I can't do that. Right Highest now. high kick I've ever done. Literally just re-blew up my vertebrae. Intro. Oh, now let me see intro. You know, there's a theory that you can't get a nose out. No, I don't want any of that cottonwood in there. There's a theory that, that, myself. that you can't, you can't get a nose out of a bottle. I don't think you get all the completely agree. of a, a whiskey well, out of just a little fella. You can get the general concept. Yeah, you get an idea. You get a sweet or sour. You get a oh, oh dang, daddy. What? Excuse a moi. Daddy. This is our eighth revisit to this bottle. Now. It is, uh, which I'm actually very happy because we've gotten Holy more and more uh, out of the shoulder. I think that has opened up amazing already. What in the hell? The first time we drank this, we're both like, eh, completely meh, right? Yeah. 45 bucks ish for it is a liter. It is high proof, it's like 120 or whatever. But it was still like, mm, I'd rather have like 1792 full proof at the time. That smells like sugary blackberries with a ton of oak. It's it's like 1792 small batch on steroids. No, 1792 is like more like red fruit. This is red. Mm, this you don't is, get red? This feels a little darker. Like Those, I get a more blackberry, like a plum, date. There's dark. no, okay, date is not it. I'll go blackberry. It's darker fruit. I'll go blackberry. All right. No, well, there's, oh my gosh, dude. I get like tons of like fruity, composty, nope, com com compote, compote, compote. Yeah. Um, fruits. Wily compote, kind of like Wily Coyote. It smells really, really good. This smells like far and above the price tag that it costs. I'm really afraid to drink it because I don't know if it'll live up to the nose. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Um. That's really nutty. Yeah, so what I was saying oh. was 1792 small batch is a really good deal. Wow. That Why does it taste like got that? so nutty. It's the nuttiest. Holy. I get, that brought a tear to my eye. If you, okay, you know how raspberries have, like, you can put your pinky in them? Yeah. You can just, like yeah, that. Where are you going with it? Right. If Th you're they're pinky, like a fruit bugle. If yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> they are. That's a good phrase. If you put a peanut inside the raspberry. Oh. It'd be like that. Yeah, a little bit. But if you overstuff the raspberry kind of like a chipmunk's cheeks during pre-hibernation. Oh, the nuts. Just every peanut that could fit in that raspberry, you shoved in there and they're dry and salted. What's funny, go back to the nose now. Now, like the oh, salty yeah, peanut that you're talking about is there. It's kind of almost cardboardy on the nose now. That's Man, unfortunate. Isn't that how, funny how that works. That's you sad Take a little how drink, go back to it. Now I'm just sad. Yeah. This smelled incredible. It did. You know what? Pro tip on the bottle, open it, dump some out. Then pour it, smell it, dump yeah. that out, and drink something else. Just, just smell it. It still smells good. Man, I, I don't know if that nuttiness was so straight left field. Oh my gosh, dude. It smelled so good. I don't think second drink was as bad. I think that was so off like the nose at first that it like kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. I think second drink, the nuttiness comes down a little bit. I don't Not at all. I just you don't think so? I'm just too sad. It smelled so good off the rip. It does. It smelled incredible off the rip. And now we're just here and we're just living with it. You know what I mean? I know that I know that these are drastically different proofs. And this right. bottle's been open for weeks now, literally. Mm -hmm. Um Man, is that nutty. But I would bet I'd be willing to bet some real life money that I'd still prefer that for thirty. I'd prefer this for forty five. Uh huh. In my head right now. And that's only 30. Oh, minutes. dude. Oh my gosh. You'd slap your mom and call me oh, Jimmy. Don't slap my mom. <laughs> that smells incredible. Mind you, this is one of our favorites, but is it amazing? It's so much better. A little bit of nuttiness comes through because of how much peanuts is on that, but there's so much more accompanying it of oh. sweetness. Cinnamon, beauty. Everything. Literally, like you went and somebody lit some incense, and it was a little dark, and it was real sensual. You're really going off on this, aren't you? I'm just this, this, this. this I'm done. I swear to God, if Kirkland drops another product that's whiskey with from Barton, I'm not interested anymore. Here, this is just, three in a row. I feel like um, 1792 dumped all their really nutty whiskey to Kirkland. I think it's youth. I genuinely think it's, it's an age be. thing. It's gotta be. I, we love Barton. We love hyper yes. Barton a lot. We know that. Because all, all that nuttiness comes off. It has to. This must be the thing. Or maybe it's a Rick House thing, or maybe it's a yeast strain thing. I'm not sure the difference. There's a big difference, though. The fact that this even says 1792 on it, doesn't it say that on the front? 
I think it just says Barton. Barton 1792. Oh, okay. the, this literally says 1792 and like the- That's a slap in the face of 1792. This verse is full proof, not even close. Uh-uh. Their small batch versus that small batch, not even close. And now the prices are slightly different. I would always but just yeah, pay up. But benchmark full proof is better than this. I would, I would bet it's like, damn close. That's a good point. And that's cheap free, as hell. Free. Yeah. I was so, I couldn't, dude, that was just such a roller coaster. I mean, Cedar Point built a whole they, new ride. They hook, line, and sinker got us right in. The, the nose seemed amazing. Mm -hmm. And then you have it, it seems so single file into mm -hmm. the nutty camp. If you're actually uh, like a really big Knob Creek, Jim Beam fan, something yeah. like that, you probably love this. Realistically, Jim Beam, I think, is the that's a good that's a really good placement for it. If you wanted a cheaper like leader of a uh, Knob Creek, this or Booker's, I mean, it's 40 bucks. This is probably proof. a little younger than Booker's, yeah. like you said. That's a, I mean, Booker's usually like nine ish. We, we've it's tried this like before. <clears throat> this is really difficult because the proof's really high and the yep. value is really high. The, Amazing. The whiskey's really cheap. Yeah. I would assume that it's probably four ish years old, give or take a year, maybe. Yeah, I'm probably. But tired. honestly, there's not anything to compare it to. We've we no. tried this. There's no bottles to compare it to on the same price range and high proof. Knob Creek's the only thing I can think of. But those are 60. Yeah. And not a liter. No. And this is a liter and 45. It's just one of these things where it's like, I get them. They've literally hit a section of the market that doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. There's no other bottle we can literally put on the table next to it for $45. That's foolproof. That's probably four or five years old. Yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, yeah, it's just a C. Uh, I think flat C is appropriate. Yeah, it's just the people C. that are gonna love it are really gonna love it. If you like, like you said, the values there, uh, they have a very distinct flavor profile that a lot of people really do like. Yeah. Um, if you like Beam, I think I think that was yeah. I think you hit the nail on the head. If you're a Beam fan, this is it. I think this, this is, is a great deal of value for Beam. Fans. Incredible deal. So it's way better than like old tub. <laughs> for the bourbon junkies, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Watch this. If you use the <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, that 17 inch small match is so much better.